Peace, y'all. I am ICC, and welcome to Episode 7 of Oddly Familiar. In our previous episode, we concentrated on just Final Fantasy, but in this episode, we're going to get back to covering a little bit of everything. I also want to say, I have been getting a lot of comments saying a song was done on purpose or a parody. The point of this series is just to find out what songs sound familiar, not if it was done on purpose or not. And anyways, it's all just for fun. So let's get this underway. Right off the bat, we have a double whammy, and both of them are submitted by viewers of previous episodes. When they heard the Russia theme from Super Dodgeball, they recognized it from a few other video games. First, we have viewer D's Nuts and Bolts submitting BGM number 6 from the next Tetris on the PlayStation 1. Now for the second part, number 9 was brought up by another viewer who mentioned the fact that Tokimaki Memorial for the PC Engine uses it also. While I have never heard the remix from Tetris or the theme from Tokimeki, at the end of the day, they both are Katyusha. If it's Russian and doesn't have this song, I have to ask, is it really Russian? Number 8 is one that was brought up by multiple viewers. While watching episode 5, they heard a song from Tenchu named Yami no Shiro. Now after hearing that, all of them thought of the same thing, and I have to give them some props on that one because I completely overlooked it. Here is Tubular Bells from the movie The Exorcist in 1973 composed by Mike Oldfield. They may not be exact, but it does sound oddly familiar. I think if you messed with the speeds of the songs, you could make them even sound more alike. And anything concerning Tenchu gets a thumbs up in my books anyways. So thanks to all of the viewers who commented this one. Job well done. Number 7 is an older song. If you have ever played Bad Dudes, then you may know this one, because it's the background theme for stages 1, 3, 4, 6, and 7. I know NES games have limited memory, but did they really have to use this for 5 different stages? <laughs> Some may recognize it, depending on if you have seen a certain TV show or not. Here is the Miami Vice theme song. Starting in 1984 and airing for five seasons, Miami Vice used this theme for the first four seasons. It was an American TV show about two detectives working undercover in Miami while Bad Dudes is about two street brawlers from New York City trying to save the president and was released in 1988 for the NES. So they are kind of similar, but not as much as these two songs. In at number six, we have another NES game. This time it's Pictionary, published by LJN in 1990. When you reach the first mini game, you will hear this song. Now if you just thought of Freddie Mercury, I wouldn't blame you. It has an uncanny similarity to Another One Bites the Dust by the band Queen. Released in 1980, it's a very recognizable melody, and I think most people have heard it. 
This is another song that is played right after sporting events when the home team wins. There's nothing better than beating your opponent and then humiliating them with their very own theme song. Number five is a Capcom game. I am starting to think Capcom needs its own list, a Capcom special. But with how much they have been in this series, I think I could still come up with 10 more. Anyways, here is Sun Sun, an arcade video game developed by Capcom and released in July of 1984. Now if you didn't catch that one, maybe you're not a fan of Star Wars, or maybe you haven't watched A New Hope in a while, because once you hear the Cantina song, I'm sure you will remember. Star Wars was released in 1977, well before the release of Sun Sun by Capcom. Sun Sun is loosely based on the Chinese novel Journey to the West, but I have no idea where the connection is. A fun fact for you, the director of Sun Sun is also one of the creators of Street Fighter and Street Fighter 2. In at unlucky number 4, we have our first Game Boy game on the list. Super Mario Land 3, Wario Land. And let me just say, someone at Nintendo must have loved this theme because it's the background music on courses 1, 2, 31, and 37. Now the song it sounds like is no accident, and this may be one of the oldest songs to appear in the entire series so far. Published in 1864, here is Stephen Foster, Beautiful Dreamer. This song by Stephen Foster was actually released after his death. It's said to have been his last song, but there are about 20 other songs that claim this. This one was copyrighted in 1862, two years before his death, so probably not his very last song. Number three is one I was planning on using, and it was also submitted by a loyal viewer, Game Draco. While playing Tetris on the Game Boy, if you choose A-type music, you will be met with this tune here. Some may recognize it, and it goes by many different names, but I will choose the easiest to pronounce for me. Here is a song named Red Army Choir. I actually have a double whammy for this one, but since the second part of the double whammy isn't video game related, I will not count it against the top 10. I will just include it for fun. Here is another place you may have heard the Tetris song, Borat's theme song. Number two is one that I completely forgot about. Once Kenneth Eaton left this comment, I remembered it on a video from Guru Larry. So thanks to Kenneth for bringing this up. Here is Bomb Jack 2 on the Commodore 64. I played this Bomb Jack 2 theme song for Lil Kratos, and he knew it instantly. He even asked me, is that the Thundercats theme song? In which I replied, yes. Yes, it is. This one is no accident. As Kenneth said in his comment, Bomb Jack 2 might actually be a canceled Thundercats game. It wouldn't be the first time a canceled game didn't change the music.
top spot in this episode is one of the most well-known theme songs ever written by Nintendo, and it comes from their poster boy, Mario. In Super Mario Bros. on the NES, once you reach the underground, you are met with this theme. This melody has been used numerous times by Nintendo over the years. You can find it remastered on Mario All-Stars. And you can even find it on newer Mario games, such as Super Mario Bros. Wii. Now here is the thing. This melody sounds exactly like Don Gruzin, Let's Not Talk About It, released in 2004. And I know what you might be thinking. Mario was released well before 2004, and you are right. But with a little further research, Don Gruzin was a member of a group named Friendship. And in 1979, he wrote and they released a song named Let's Not Talk About It. And it sounds a little something like this. That's the Mario Underground theme if I have ever heard it. And this is my favorite one on the list, so I had to save it for the top spot. It's a very interesting bass line, and I think one of the most popular video game songs that has been in the entire series so far. So there you have it. Episode 7 is in the books. I already told everyone my favorite from the list, but what would be your favorite from the list? As always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to leave a comment if you have any oddly familiar songs. You might just find yourself in an upcoming episode. Until then, I am ICC. Thanks again. Peace. <laughs>